This is an NBA ASMR video once again. Time to review the free agents. Let's get into it. Starting with uh, Sunday, June 30th. The first deal. Uh, I don't even know if these are in order. Maybe they are, but OB Toppin. Four-year, $60 million contract. The Pacers bring him back. Interesting move. He's a solid player. He's a solid player, but they got Pascal. They got Toppin to play the four. Where's Jairus Walker supposed to play? Maybe he's going to be a backup three. I don't know. Uh, but they just drafted him the other year uh, with a high pick. So I guess he's not playing too well. They need Toppin. Maybe he'll play the three, but yeah, Toppin and, and Siakam are, are the four. So interesting move there, but I think it's a good deal. Not bad at all. Four for 60, 15 a year. Seems about right for Toppin. Um, maybe he could have got more somewhere else. I don't know, but uh, that's that. Uh, Max Christie resigned. Uh, let's see. Is there money? Uh, four year, 32 million, so 80 a year. It's like a Peyton Pritchard deal. Luke Cornett re-signed with the Celtics. One-year deal. Um, Kevin Porter Jr. is back in the NBA. He's on the Clippers. So, yeah, they got him back in this two-year deal uh, with the Clippers player option. They uh, really got him back in the league quickly. So quickly he signed before even Miles Bridges. Uh, interesting stuff. And actually, I saw something. Uh, his his ex girlfriend just got released from the WNBA, the one where they had the whole uh, legal issue there. Um, so he resigns. His girlfriend got cut. That's brutal. That's just that's weird. <laughs> but the Suns, Mason, Plumley, they're adding a big. I guess that's good. But he's getting a little old. Uh, Clippers, uh, Clippers didn't give an, give enough to him, I guess. But Mavericks, they got Nat, they got Najee Marshall. Uh, I guess he's the Derek Jones Jr. replacement, three years, twenty-seven, which was pretty much a similar deal that Derek Jones got. Um, but we'll get to this in a bit. Uh, Eric Gordon, one-year deal, three point three, with Philly. So they need shooting. So maybe, maybe he's that guy. I don't know. Valanciunas, Jonas Valanciunas. Three year, thirty million dollars, ten million a year. That's not bad at all. Um, and they, they get a, a decent center to put next to Sar, the rookie, who wants to play the four. So they're putting him in a, a decent situation, I guess. Andre Jummond, uh back with the Sixers. So uh, this is a two year, ten million dollar deal. It looks like that's not bad. Uh, Keita is back with the Celtics. It's a, a multi-year deal. I don't think there's ever a dollar figure announced with his multi-year deal. It's probably pretty low. Um, but he's an okay backup big. So they got him and Cornette. They're bringing them both back. They're bringing everybody back. Uh, Kevin Love re-signs to your $8 million deal. The Heat really going hard this free agency for sure. <laughs> uh, Kelly Oubre re-signs with the Sixers. Two years. $16.3 million. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. I don't know if that's the mid-level exception or what. Um, but the the second year is, uh, is a player option there. So, And then yeah, Der Derek Jones right here. Three years, $30 million, Goes to the Clippers. So they uh, that's, that's a solid pickup. They are definitely working on defense uh, for this upcoming year. I think he should be able to help with that for sure. KCP, we were wondering where he was going to go, what team was going to overpay him. Um, I don't think anybody really overpaid him. So he got three years, $66 million. Um, third year is a player option. 22 a year. I, that's not bad, I guess. Um, for you know, either like you know one of your first guys off the bench or maybe even a starter with the Magic. I don't know. I don't know what will happen there. Um, I think they also signed Gary Harris, so they brought him back. But Paul George, I'm kidding, Chris Paul signing with the Spurs after the Warriors waived him. His was, I believe it was $11 million. Yes, one year, $11 million. 
um, Lob City with Wemby. That should be that should be interesting. I I like that. I kind of like that. I thought I thought he'd go somewhere where you know it was a kind of a contending team, you know. But the Spurs, you know, maybe maybe he can get something going there. That would be crazy. I, I like it. I like the idea of it. It's gonna be tough in the West, but Chris Paul, I like it, man. Chris Paul wants to go make it make it happen with Spurs. I think him and Wemby are very interesting as long as he's not too washed every year he, you know he's at that age where it's just like every year it's like oh is he gonna be washed this year or is he gonna be okay <laughs> you know you just never know when these guys are just gonna fall off a cliff unfortunately um but we'll see could be interesting no pressure there to win either I really don't think there's any pressure for him to win um I don't know if the Spurs quite have you know a roster ready but Either way, uh, I like it. Uh, James Harden. James Harden. So, gets traded to LA, LA, opts in last year. The Sixers send him on over. And it's a two-year, $70 million extension um, with a player option. So, I guess that's second year. So, if he goes off this year, he's going to get like a max or whatever. I don't know. Um, but he's getting up there. Solid deal for him. 35 for the next two years. Um, Clippers get to see what's going on. Um, but Paul George is gone. Paul George is... He's out of there. Um, where is that? There it is. Alright, it's in the middle. But um, going into Monday, Jazz, they signed you. Drew Eubanks, two-year, ten million. Uh, Garza stays with the Wolves. Uh, Isaiah Joe, they declined. So both Aaron Wiggins and Isaiah Joe, they declined their team options um, to keep them as restricted free agents this year, and now they're giving him smaller deals. Um, it was, uh, so Aaron Wiggins, five year, 47, and then Joe's was like four year, 40 something, 48. So, gave these guys small deals. They're gonna keep, uh, you know, some role players on this team, keep this Thunder group together. Uh, for the next few years, um, Aaron Holiday, two years, ten million, back with the Rockets. Danny, Danny Melton, one year, twelve point eight million with the Warriors. Um, Jalen Smith, uh, hey, I like it. Um, didn't really have a place for him on the Pacers, I guess, uh, but he's over on the Bulls now. Three years, twenty-seven million. They also brought Patty Williams back. Um, Alone, right? One year deal with the Bucks. That's a good one. I didn't see that one. That's decent. Uh, Nick Batum, two years, nine point six to go back to the Clippers. Hey, uh, just a year ago when he got traded for the Sixers, his wife was not happy that they had to move. So hey, they're back in LA, back with all their family and friends. I'm sure that's going to be nice for them. Um, he might have had to take a slight pay cut for that, but I don't know who else. I don't know where else he could have gone. Maybe like the Spurs got more money. I don't know. Or the, the Pistons. I don't know. But seems like a good deal for him. It's where he wants to be. Garrett Temple. Uh, back in Toronto. He's still in the league. He's a vet. <laughs> Goku Um Three year. 25 million. He's going to stay with the Magic. Chris Dunn. Uh, leaving the Jazz. He's going to the Clippers. Gary Harris staying with the Magic. Uh, two years. 14. Um... Mo Bamba to the Clippers. Isaiah Hardenstein, three-year deal, eighty-seven million. So what is that? Twenty-nine a year. That's crazy. NBA money is nuts. It is crazy. But he's a solid center, I guess. Yeah, I guess. I guess it's. We'll see. Um, the Thunder had the cap space. Seems like a good fit. I don't know. They like playing five out, having shooters. I don't know if Hardenstein's really a shooter like that, but. They got a center. They're going to try a chat at the four. We'll see what happens. Uh, Tobias Harris, two years, $52 million with the Pistons to take up some cap space. How nice of him to help them get to the salary floor. Paul George, he is with the Sixers. There was rumors this would happen. ESPN basically made them kiss on live TV uh, during the playoffs. Him and Embiid, Paul George and Embiid. Um... And, yeah, there it is. I really thought he would stay with the Clippers, but clearly they are 
they're done with this guy. <laughs> they just, they let him go. And he's with the Sixers now. They had the cap space. So, lose Tobias Harris, add Paul George. Even if Paul George isn't as good as he was, uh, good move for the Sixers. I hate to say it, but it's a great move for the Sixers. I really thought they'd end up with DeRozan, but this is definitely a step up from that. I thought they were going to miss out on George, end up with DeRozan. This is a lot better. They also secured Maxi, five years, 200 million, crazy stuff. But Maxi, Paul George, Joel Embiid, that's a core. That's a core right there. They're contenders. Uh, we knew it would happen. So good for them. Good for the Sixers. Uh, for the Mavericks, the last big one uh, from yesterday, from Monday, July 1st, the sign and trade for Clay Thompson. Um, Let's see, what did this end up being? Was it 50 million? Uh, I, I believe it was, I hate this. Why even Why even link this? This is the NBA.com website and they can't even give me a dollar figure. What a joke. Um, but yeah, they sent uh, some second round picks for Clay. Just two seconds and then, oh, also Josh Green got moved in the deal, which I thought was a little interesting. Um, I don't know. I know maybe Clay bounces back, but I would have kept. I would have kept Josh Green. I don't know. I they're win now mode. If they think Clay's gonna be that guy, he's gonna get open looks. He's gonna get open looks. So not a bad trade at all. But yeah, great NBA.com. No dollar figure here. What a joke. You're telling me they don't know what this is. Alright, whatever. It is what it is. I thought it was something. Three years, 50 million. We'll see. I got no idea. But, yeah, three years, 50 million. And he turned down, what was it, two years? 48 million from the Warriors uh, the other year. I don't know, something like that. But it's definitely interesting. We still have DeMar DeRozan. Um... Man, I don't know where he's going to end up. Um, let's look at cap space and see like who even has the space for DeRozan. Um, not many, not many at all. Yeah, I don't know where he's going to end up. This is crazy. Hey, maybe, uh, man, I don't know. It seems like everybody's at the minimum. But, yeah, this is, I, I mean, he's going to end up taking, like, less money maybe for the Lakers. I don't even know. The Lakers, they don't even deserve him. They shouldn't even end up with him. But it is what it is. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, DeRozan. DeRozan's the big one left. Crazy stuff. This wasn't, it wasn't even on there, but Derek White, four-year extension. Um, Tatum, five-year extension for the Celtics. I guess they didn't put any of the extensions on there. Uh, let's see, what else is there? Mitchell, three-year extension. Yeah, we got to get all these. Kate Cunningham, five-year extension uh, with the Pistons. Yep. I mean, Siakam, we, he has his extension, four-year extension. He was one of the early ones. Uh, come on, what else do we got? Oh, yeah, Ananobi, five-year deal. So, yeah, we just went all went over all the recent ones. So, Ananobi signed. These are all the ones that were kind of already done. Scotty Barnes, five-year extension. 
Emmanuel quickly five year extension, so Raptors see those guys as core guys, at least for now, until they want to trade for somebody else. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's all of them. That is it. That's all of them for right now. Uh, crazy stuff. Crazy stuff.